Grade 3 Math, number 9.7b, that's Chapter 9, Lesson 7. And decimal tenths on a number line. I drew a very big number line. Let me step back and show it to you. Look at that. Ooh, that number line goes on and on, doesn't it? Well, each little line on this number line, because all number lines can be different, each little line is a tenth. And this is one whole. So this right here is one whole. Okay, that's one. And then going to the next one, that's two, that's three, and then we go to four. In between zero and one are the tenths. Right down the middle is the half, that's 0.5 or 0 0.50. We can put a zero at the back, but it doesn't really matter. We don't have to. So there's one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths. And 10 tenths is one whole. See that? And we can have 3 tenths, which would be 1, 2, 3. That would be right here. And we can add 5 tenths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that would get us to the 8 tenths. 3 tenths plus 5 tenths equals 8 tenths. If we had one whole, 10 tenths, and we had 3 tenths right here, 1, 2, 3. 3, and then we added 5 tenths to it, we would have a total of 8 tenths. See? Two more and we'd have a whole one, wouldn't we? Now I want you to take a look coming down this number line. Here's one hole, here's two hole, here's three hole, and then look at in between here. This is 3 and 1 tenth right here. This line right here is 3 and 1 tenth. And if I break this little tenth up into ten pieces, then each of these is a hundredth. When you split a tenth into ten pieces, that makes hundredths. And if I took four of them, one, two, three, four, I'd have 0 .04 or four hundredths. This would be three and four hundredths. We have a hundredths tenth place, a tens place, our ones place, so there's three whole. Then we have our decimal, and then it goes to tenths, and then hundredths. So it'd be 3.04, or 3 and 4 hundredths. And it would be right there on the number line. One hole, two hole, three hole, and then four little tiny hundredths right there inside of a tenth. See that? All right. Now, if we want to put decimals in order from least to greatest, and we have a list like this, Look at the decimal points are all jumbled up, and this one doesn't even have a decimal point. Well, when you see 81, where's the decimal point? Well, we know it's after the ones place. This is the tens place. This is the ones place. So our decimal point's going to be right here, isn't it? So we could even write it like this, because there's zero tenths. We could even put another one and say there's zero hundredths. It's just an 81. So to put it in order from least to greatest, what we do is we line up the decimals. We put all the decimals lined up. And then we can look at it and see what we've got. We've got a whole one. We've got 81 whole ones. And then we can see our tenths and we can see our hundredths. So we can line them up from least to greatest by lining up the decimal points. And we can see that the point 0.18 or the 18 hundredths is the least. Then 81 hundredths is the next bigger one. Then a whole one with 8 tenths is the next biggest one, and then 81 is the biggest. See? So lining up your decimal points can help you figure out which ones are bigger or smaller. All right? Let's try it again. We want to line these up in order from least to greatest. But look, we've got a decimal point that's not in the right place. So we want to line them up so our decimal points are all going in a row. And we can see that we have a 6.0. That's a whole one. That's a whole 6, isn't it? So we can line them up from least to greatest by lining up those decimal points. We know that the six whole is the greatest out of all of them because these are just little hundredths. So the six hundredths is the least, and the six tenths is the next biggest, and then 66 hundredths is the next biggest, and then the six is the greatest. Okay? All right? So that would be comparing decimals to each other just line up the decimal point, okay? So remember, inside of each tiny little tenth 
you can break it up into 10 more and get hundredths, okay? Because 10 times 10 is 100. Yeah. Isn't that funny how that worked? All right? So I hope this was helpful. I hope you're doing okay. Keep trying. I'm proud of you. Bye.